Tetris with triangles. Instead of playing Tetris with regular pieces, would it be possible to play with pieces made out of triangles? I still wasn't sure what the pieces would look like, so I made some rough sketches to figure it out. I was able to come up with the designs for a couple of pieces, but it would be impractical to figure them all out by hand. I wrote a program that would generate every possible piece consisting of some amount of triangles. The rules were that the triangles must be connected by an edge and not just a vertex. These are some of the pieces it generated. To create the game, I started with a 10 by 20 grid where each cell was able to hold two right triangles. Next, I added piece movement. You can use the left and right arrow keys to move pieces horizontally, and after a certain amount of time, it moves down. Once it can't move down anymore, it's placed onto the grid and the next piece appears. A fundamental mechanic of every Tetris game is rotation. To rotate the pieces, I wrote an algorithm that rotates the cells and the triangles of a piece 90 degrees counterclockwise. I also had to make sure that pieces rotate around a center point so that the rotation doesn't look weird. I changed the colors and then copied and pasted the code to add clockwise rotation. Forgot to change that. I fixed the bug and had a game with the basic piece mechanics. Even though I hadn't implemented line clearing, trying to fill a line was nearly impossible. While some of the pieces could fit together, Every time you got a piece that didn't fit, it would create holes that just continued to pile up until eventually you talked out. Even if you did fill one line, the rest of your board would just be too messed up to do anything else. In an attempt to make the game easier, I tried adding a slope in the bottom right. I thought that the triangular pieces might fit better if the ground was already slanted. It didn't help. I then tried reducing the amount of triangles in each piece from 4 to 3. This made it much easier, but it was still too difficult. I added some UI elements in the next box, which made the game a little bit easier, but it was still impossible. I asked some experienced Tetris players for some suggestions on how to make line clearing easier, and I decided to use the pieces made out of three triangles. They also helped me realize another problem. Some holes could actually be impossible to fill. If this happens, you just have to give up on clearing that line, meaning a top out is extremely inevitable. To solve this, I added another piece, a single triangle. It could be used to fill in any holes and keep your stack clean. With the new piece, I decided to change the movement algorithm to allow for more tricks. Now, pieces can move in multiple directions at the same time. By holding or pressing multiple keys simultaneously, pieces can move horizontally, vertically, and spin on the same frame. This allows pieces to move through other pieces for some incredible tricks. I call this phasing, where a piece is able to move through other pieces. This is one of the hardest phases, where you have to hold left and hit a frame-perfect key press. Now that it was easy enough to clear lines, I programmed the algorithm. Whenever a piece is placed, it checks every row and keeps track of which ones are full, and then plays an animation for each of those rows. The scoring also scales with the level, so you want to play on the highest level that you're able to comfortably clear lines on. To make the game even easier and stick with the triangle theme, I made single triangles always come out three at a time. I also changed it so that lines wait to be cleared until all three single triangles have been placed. This means that instead of only being able to score singles and doubles, you can create a setup like this and score a tritris. A tritris gives far more points than a double, so the strategy is to get as many as possible. Now that I started getting better, games took a really long time, so I reduced the size of the grid to 8 by 16 which speeds up games, but also gives you less space to place pieces. The game was still missing sounds, so I used BFXR to create sound effects for moving and placing pieces and for clearing lines. To top it all off, I added a custom sound and flashing effect, 
when scoring a Tritris. Here are some highlights from a live stream of the seven-time Classic Tetris World Champion, Jonas Neubauer, nope. playing Tritris for the first time. It's so pointy. Nope. Nope. It is origami Tetris. I am never gonna be able to play regular Tetris after this. I am not sure how long I'm gonna play this, but I think it's gonna be a lot. Wait, can things go through things? Can I go like, burr, 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 burr. oh, I can. Burr, 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 burr. Do you have to make that noise every time? How do I get this one there? Burr, burr. Oh, nope. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Can we, can we be smart about this? We can be smart about this, right? Look at that! Frick you, dude. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! All the way through? Oh, I... Bricked it up, dude. What? Big, big taps. Big taps from your guy. Oh yeah, quick restart would be great because topping out is incredibly difficult. Damn, dude, real time? You'd love to see it. Update with F5. Oh, let's go. This is not gonna tuck. Oh! What? Did you see that? <laughs> oh, stop. Stop. So stupid. I cannot. Seriously, I'm gonna have nightmares about this. Freaking stress dreams. <gasps> That's so satisfying, look at this. The world's stressful enough, and then people come in, they're looking for some relaxing Tetris, <laughs> and they see, <laughs> they see this absolute monstrosity. You're about to see it. Give me three pieces. Let's see what happens. Don't give me stew CS, I'm tired, I'm tired of this. Oh, and it, here it comes. Oh, oh no! No! <laughs> I went. I went to turn up the music. <laughs> I went to turn up the music. I thought I had enough time. <laughs> Not been toddler. All right, we can do it again. <laughs> Oh my god, just just get half half of the the things that we need. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, let me change the no. Whenever we want! Tetris for Jonas! Whatever we want. Instantly set up again. Instantly set up. <laughs> That's a GG. Look at the GG right there. That was so much fun. That was fun. Thanks so much to Jonas for playing. I'll leave a link to his Twitch in the description. Now that the game is fully complete, it's still very difficult. 
As the current world record holder, I think it would be helpful to share some tips and tricks on how to do better. The first tip is no sharp edges. If you're familiar with Tetris, you might want to create blocky builds with lots of sharp edges. However, this is not effective in Tritris. Only the blue and yellow pieces are able to fit nicely, so it is best to keep smoother builds. As soon as you get a different piece, you'll create holes and have to do some creative phases to fix it. The second tip is to create a V-shape. This is what I found to be the most accommodating setup as it can fit almost every piece. I try to maintain one or two of these on my board at all times. The only piece that it cannot fit is the orange one. For this, it's best to leave a slope on the left or right or create a wide V. The next tip is how to do phases. Phases are vital to keeping a clean board, so make sure you know how to do them. Phases are also possible with every piece, although the single triangle is best at it. The easiest phase is where a piece can just fall into place. The next hardest is where you move a piece left or right and down to get it into place. For this, I strongly recommend holding the left or right arrow key. This will wall charge the piece and ensure it slides into place once the piece moves down. If you just try tapping left or right, it could fail. The next hardest is a spin. This requires you to rotate at the same time the piece moves down. Rather than try to time pressing rotate when the piece moves down, I find it easier to press rotate and down simultaneously. The hardest type of phase is a diagonal spin, which combines all directions at once. Since you aren't able to move pieces horizontally while pushing down, you must hold left or right and press rotate on the exact frame that the piece timer moves the piece down. I usually end up spamming rotate and hoping I time it correctly. The final tip is how to score a tritris. Knowing how to set up for a tritris is vital as it scores the most points. Once you get comfortable with the pieces and stacking, you should attempt a tritris. Gradually build your well along with the rest of your stack and try not to create a weird spike. I also recommend using bottom triangles for your well so that if you need to burn and don't have any single triangles, other pieces can clear lines. Once you get more comfortable, you can also build your well using other pieces. I hope these four tips are helpful. Let me know if you can beat my high score of 143,000. Good luck to everyone playing. I'll put a link to the game and code in the description. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.